So I just want to dwell on this a little bit more just to make sure that you understand what it is that we're looking at here. Um, so back, back to our current loop example, uh, you've got your field instrument somewhere out there taking a measurement. Um, it's going to have the wires attached to it. And that's going to go to a little card in a, in a control device someplace that probably looks something like this. So you're just going to have this with the, whoop, let me get my pen. You're going to have this with the little wire that goes back to it, okay? And you're going to land the wires on there. So inside this description right here, this is what you see, okay? This is the transmitter coming out. And the transmitter output is going to be proportional to the end, to whatever it's measuring. So it's going to be a 4 to 20 milliamp output signal that's going to travel through the wire here and go into the analog input card, which is going to convert that current into a little voltage right here that's going to go down to our A to D converter. Okay. So an end-to-end -end example. Let's just talk about a little bit about the math that's going on behind here. So our instrument, let's just say, we keep talking about thermometers, so let's just say it's a 0 to 100 degree Fahrenheit thermometer, okay? So this, this is our engineering unit. This is what we're actually measuring, okay? So this, this instrument's going to measure the temperature from 0 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's going to convert it into a 4 to 20 milliamp signal that's going to go through the wire to the analog input card on the computer. The analog input card in the computer or the control device is going to convert that to a voltage that's then going to go into our A to D converter. Okay, so let's say that we're measuring 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And let's say that this is a 20-bit card. Okay, it's a 20-bit analog to digital converter. So my temperature gets measured at 50 degrees Fahrenheit. It goes the instrument will then produce, can you can you predict how many milliamps it's going to be? It's going to be halfway between, my span right here is 16, right? So it's going to be, half of that is 8, so it's going to be 12 milliamps is my half scale reading, right? Because 4 would, would be 0 degrees, 20 would be 100, so 12 milliamps is going to be 50. So 12 milliamps is going to go into this analog card, which is then going to convert it, okay? And I know at 20 bits that I get a resolution, I'm going to be between 0 and 1,048,576. Okay, so my counts are going to be halfway between that. And I guess it would have been nice if I had done this ahead of time, but I'm scrambling to get my calculator right now. So let's see. 0, 048,576, enter 2 divided by. So this is going to produce a counts value of 524,288. So if I look at a register in the PLC, in the, in, the, in the control device here, I'm going to get a value of 524,288 counts, okay, which is analogous to my 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So hopefully you're starting to see how this, this works here. Um, I get this. I know if I know if I'm if I'm seeing this that I should be seeing 20, 12 milliamps of current in this, and then I know back to my engineering units that it's 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, in the last lesson, we talked about tags, the concept of tags, and we talked about all the metadata that's associated with the the tags. So let's go back and review that right now in the context of our example here. Okay, so this tag, this instrument, would have some sort of a tag name, right? So we would give it a tag name. And from that tag name, or well, we give it a tag name, okay? So that tag name uniquely identifies this particular measurement from this particular instrument, right? We talked about zero in span, or a min and max. Right, so our min and max, or our zero to span, are our engineering units, so that's zero to 100. Right, zero to 100. We talked about engineering units. Right, and the engineering units are in degrees Fahrenheit. So when I'm looking at my, at my overall system in my electric grid, this tag name, I should be able to somehow figure out that tag name is coming from this particular analog input card 
the 0 to 100 tells me what my reading is that I'm taking. My engineering units tells me what the units are here. And so if I go to this analog input card and I look up that tag and I see this value, I should be able to figure out what temperature I'm reading. So hopefully that's starting to make a little bit of sense to you. Um, and we're going to talk about this more in, uh, in the next lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to talk about uh, SCADA concepts, supervisory control and data acquisition and industrial control systems. Um, and so uh, this is kind of a key concept in there.